Housing suspected Florida shooter Nicholas Cruz say they took the teen in because it was the right thing to do after his mother died. They're also defending their decision to allow him to keep around half a dozen guns. And Adoba has the latest. As accused Florida high school shooter, 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz appeared in front of a judge yesterday for a second time. The family that had been housing him was speaking out. James and Kimberly Sneed insist Cruz showed no warning signs that he was about to do harm to himself or others. He had a positive, positive path going. He was going to school. He had a job. Um, he, he told us two weeks ago he was the happiest he's ever been. The family says when Cruz moved into their home with around half a dozen guns, their only stipulation that he keep them locked in a gun safe. I have guns. Um, I respect guns. Um, as long as they're, they're handled properly. It's his right to own a gun. Cruz owned the guns legally. A Florida judge yesterday, though, authorized the release of his records, which indicate he had multiple mental health concerns, including severe depression and ADHD. At vigils and protests across the country, many are calling for tighter regulations to prevent those with mental health issues from buying a gun. It comes down to children in classrooms who are being shot. At this lion outside the White House, dozens of high schoolers from Teens for Gun Reform posed as corpses. Students from Parkland plan to rally at the state capitol this week. We feel like the politicians on both sides, but mostly the GOP, who are accepting money from the NRA, are betting on our lives, and they're betting against us. The White House says President Trump will host a listening session tomorrow with both students and teachers. And Adoba, CBS News.